Welcome to BamaWX.com. My name is Mike Wilhelm. This is Saturday, January the 8th, 2011. Winter storm is threatening the state of Alabama, and as I occasionally do when that happens, I like to do a little map discussion, so let's get it going. Uh, the first thing I want to look at is the current conditions. Uh, you can see over here in the state of Texas that this low pressure system that's been talked about for quite some time is now getting its act together, and there's actually thunderstorms breaking out across south and southwest Texas. Once this low pressure system gets its act together, that's what's going to bring the snow to parts of Alabama. Let's look at some GFS maps from the 18Z run today. A couple of things to notice are the blue critical thickness line that runs from Texas through Louisiana, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, and the green area which represents precipitation, especially that green area just north of that blue line. That represents an area where snow is probably going to be the form of accumulation, especially in the far northern part of the state of Alabama. And where you see the darker green, that's a higher amount. That's some heavy precipitation. So heavy snow is actually not out of the question for parts of north Alabama. Now as this system begins to pull on out on Monday, the precipitation becomes lighter and the critical thickness line actually moves almost to the Alabama-Tennessee state line. But let's look now at the track of this low pressure system. The models have been real consistent with this all week in projecting the uh, low to track across the northern Gulf, and that's an ideal situation for snow in the south. And speaking of snowfall accumulations, check out the 12Z GFS run today. That's showing a wide area of 6 to 8 inches across the Tennessee Valley. The 18Z run of the GFS was not quite as impressive, but still showed 5 to possibly 8 inches across north and especially northwest Alabama. Now we're looking at the NAM, which was even more bullish on the accumulations. This is the 12Z run, which showed a wide area of 6 to 10 inches across the northern quarter of the state. And the 18Z run was quite similar in showing a lot of accumulations over the northern part of the state of Alabama. This is the SREF uh, ensemble at 15Z today, showing a 12-hour snow of 6 to 7 inches across the Tennessee Valley region of North Alabama. It also showed around 3 a.m. Uh, Monday morning that we have a 50% chance along the state line of having over an inch an hour of snow. And believe it or not, this is showing there's actually a 10% chance of snow falling at the rate of 2 inches per hour or more. Wouldn't that be something? This next map shows the area that's most likely to have freezing rain that lasts over three hours, uh, and that could be some serious icing problems down there in uh, central Alabama and east Alabama. This is the HPC projection of at least four inches of snow, which is quite likely in northern Alabama. This shows the possibility is even there for as much as eight inches of snow across the Tennessee Valley region of north Alabama, according to the HPC. This is where the HPC believes that the greatest likelihood of icing problems will occur and again that's mostly over central Alabama and especially the eastern side of the state. I'm going to show you a couple other maps now of some pretty high snowfall accumulations from a different model. Um, and finally I wanted to show you the National Weather Service in Huntsville is ex expecting four to seven inches across the northern part of the state of Alabama.